Welcome to Trending Places. An hour-long ferry voyage will take you from the gateway of India to Elephanta Island in the Mumbai Harbour, where you'll discover a secret world of rock-cut caves rich in Shivite sculptures and displaying impressive carvings. Welcome to Elephanta Caves which are located 10 kilometers to the east of the gateway of India on the remote island known as Gharapuri, city of caves. About their precise time of inception, historians and academics have disagreed throughout the 19th and 20th centuries. Additional research, numismatic evidence, architectural style, and inscriptions have linked the Buddhist stupas to the Hinena Buddhists who first arrived on the island in the 2nd century BCE, long before the arrival of the Brahmins in Elephanta, and the cave temples to King Krishnaraja of the Kalachuri dynasty in the middle of the 6th century. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is carved into a basalt rock face and spans two hills, one to the west and one to the east. The western ridge gradually rises from the ocean, stretches eastward through a canyon, and reaches its highest point at a height of around 173 meters. The most famous cave in this area is Cave 1 or the Big Cave, which sits on the western hill and is noted for its exquisite Shivite reliefs and representations of Hindu epics and mythology. Caves 2 through 5 pan out southeast of Cave 1 and adjacent to it. However, Caverns 6 and 7 are located on the eastern hill's rim, which also houses two Buddhist caves with stupas and water tanks. The east and west hills are connected by a footbridge. Scholars have debated about who vandalized the structures the most for centuries, but their conclusions are still up for debate. Some academic institutions attribute the destruction of the artwork and decorations across the caverns to the Gujarat Sultanate period, while others accuse the Portuguese soldiers of using the sculptures as targets in the caves as a fire range. Since they were thought to have covered the artwork and even the caves, some analysts absolve the Muslim monarchs and the Portuguese of any responsibility for the defacement of the caves. These specialists think that by purposefully destroying the artwork in the 17th century, the Marathas hastened the caverns, imminent destruction.